This is Matthew Harrington with Dell Technologies. Today I'm going to cover Dell Command Configure, which is a tool Dell has had for many, many years. This is what allows you to make BIOS changes to any Dell BIOS. Excuse me. If you go to the web page right here, dell.com forward slash command, you get to the landing page for all of Dell's endpoint management tools, which are all free. You click on Configure and Deploy, and you get Dell Command Configure. You download and install it on a single system, and this is what the tool looks like. This lets you make any BIOS change that you want to the BIOS, including password setting and manipulation. It's very easy to use. <clears throat> Whatever you want to change, like example, if I wanted to change fast boot, I could search for it. I could click edit and then I can set it to whatever I want. If I want to set it to auto, I can. I could export this to a any file or a CCTK file. They're one and the same. Or you could export it to a standalone EXE. What those look like once exported is it's this simple. <clears throat> That's what it looks like. If you wanted to set Fastboot to auto, you change it in the GUI, you export it to an any or a CCTK file, and that's what it looks like. This tool also allows you to export all settings on a particular system. I have a Precision 7770, for example. I can run this command right here, and it will export out every single bio setting in my system. You could copy and paste anything in here and create your own custom cctk files or any files and then you could execute those right so anything you could build in here you could actually put in the any files you could also call it like this this tool requires access to cctk and all of these dll files this is where it installs up here so when i installed it this is the installation location i can grab all these files i can put them up on a server share and then i can have a custom settings not any or cctk file whatever you want to call it and then you could put anything you want in this file and then you could just call it so dell command configure does not have to be installed in target systems all you need is access to the DLL files and CCTK. Or what you can do is export to a standalone EXE file. And those just look like this. So I created one that sets fastboot to auto. I ran it and it creates its own log file. And you can see down here, it worked. If it errored out, it would write this to the log file, and then you can look up that particular error. So it's really, really simple, right? You just come in here, you say edit, and you make whatever changes that you want, and you export to an any file or CCTK file, or you export to a standalone EXE. The EXEs, once compiled, have all of the DLLs baked inside of the EXE, so you don't need to call them the other thing you can do with this tool is you can change bios passwords so the bios password you basically have three options excuse me you currently don't have a password and you want to set a new one you have a bios password and you want to change it or you have a bios password and you want to clear it and this tool can do all three of those. What you do is you have to know what category it's in, right? So I can say deselect all, and I know that the password's under security. I can click here, and I know the field I'm looking for is BIOS authentication management. This is changed from previous versions of DCC. In the 4.x versions, it was in a different location with a different name. But what you do is you say edit, view change. And all you do, if you, let's say your system does not have a BIOS password and you want to set a BIOS password, I can come in here and I can say like 
MLB one two three for Major League Baseball. MLB one two three. I say OK, and then I can say export. <clears throat> I can just say OK. I'm not going to encrypt this. I can say continue, and then I'm going to export this. It takes time, so I'm not going to go through that just for the interest of time, right? But then you get a standalone EXE that when you run, it's going to set the BIOS password to MLB one two three. Let's say it's been set to MLB one two three, and now you want to change it to NFL one two three. You'd launch this tool again. You'd come here and you'd say NFL one two three, NFL one two three. You could always say show it, and then you have to re-enter it here, and then you say OK. I say export. Now it's asking provide the existing setup password well we know it's mlb123 mlb123 and i can say okay i'm not going to encrypt i can say continue i save it <clears throat> the exe that gets saved i can then push that out with intune or sccm or run it manually and all the computers that have the bios password of mlb123 it's going to change it to nfl123 or if let's say you want to wipe it out, you know that your password is set to NFL123 and you want to clear it, you would come in here and you'd hit a space bar, one space bar. Say OK, say export. It is set to NFL123, NFL123, because we know that's the current BIOS password. Excuse me. And I want to clear it. So there is no BIOS password. Again, you just, we're not going to use encryption. Export it out, run this, and it'll wipe out the BIOS password so you will no longer have a BIOS password. It's really, really easy to use. And it's easy to test your results right away. The other thing you can do with this is you can run this inside of SCCM task sequences. So you can come into SCCM, and what you have to do is you create a package right here that has no program. All this package does is it points to here. This is a test environment, so it's set up pretty simply. I have my CCTK file, and I have all of the DLLs. Again, there's, there's no program on this. It's simply source. Then what you do is you come down to your task sequence, you go into your task sequence, and you can do whatever you want. And all you do is you reference the package that has the, sor or the source of all the DLLs. So if I wanted Fastboot set to thorough, I could do it like that. If I wanted to keep all log files, you could stack different commands on top of each other if you choose. And again, all you do is you call that particular package which has access to all the DLL files and then you're running this in the win PE section of your task sequence. The other thing this tool lets you do is with the bat files if you right click one of these you can say edit and you could inject all of these DLL files including CCTK directly into your SCCM boot WIM. And it shows you with an example of how to do it right here. I generally don't do that because I don't like injecting things into the boot win unless I absolutely have to. Like it's a brand new system and the ADK doesn't have the latest drivers for the NIC or whatever it is. Then I'll inject into the boot win. Other than that, I never want to do it. I'd much rather just create a package that has access to the files that I need, and then run that particular package or call that package in a task sequence. I find that a lot cleaner, and you don't know, create bloatware inside of your boot whip. So it's, it's a very powerful tool. It's simple to play with. Download it. You just come in here and you say edit, and you can make whatever changes that you want. You could export to any file, to a CCTK file, or to a standalone EXE. And 
push that out and then you could have you know uniform bio settings on all of your systems so hopefully this was helpful and until the next video